7.5 và 8.0 cùng giải đế đi thật tháng 7 chủ đề Competition Xem hết video để ôn tập cùng chúng mình nhé Part 2 Describe a game you enjoyed playing when you were younger Alright, so I remember that um, like when I was going to high school or even in middle school and high school uh, most of my friends they were actually addicted to playing you know, video games uh, in general I was I was, however, not really hooked up by it. I just think it's not really enthralling enough. Um, my game of choice back in those days were actually Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card games. I, I know it sounds a little bit nerdy, but you just have to hear me out. So pretty much the game is like trading card games. Um, it has a lot of strategies involved and you pretty much have to um, know your cards pretty much. So there are a lot of different decks and they go with different strategies and stuff like that. And so kids like us back then, we pretty much like we spend all the time learning different strategies, uh, learning the weaknesses and the strengths of each of them and try to, you know, like uh, to, to duel against each other. And pretty much it was, it was a really, a really fun time playing with one another. Now, I mean, like when I, as I grew up and and, and I, I kind of learned more about the game. It's definitely not a childish game because apparently the strategies can go. At, it, it has definitely it has definitely evolved throughout the time. No, well now I I kind of dropped it probably like five years ago or something like that. Uh, but now even until now when I look back at the game, look back at how people are currently playing it now. There's so many new uh, advancing techniques people are applying to the game, which could be a little bit intimate, intimidating for newbies, but but apparently it's all kind of contribute to the diversity of how this trading card game should be played in the future. So I am not quite a sporty person, but whenever I had the time, I still enjoyed friendly matches or you know games with my friends who I spent most of my teenage years with and there's one such sport like that and that is badminton so um, back when I was a high school student I formed a group with four more friends and we usually gathered together at one's house and um, moved to a stadium an in indoor one to play badminton the game was um, essentially just Two, two pairs of players passing shuttlecocks using rackets until one could not catch that shuttlecock and then yeah whenever which team got 21 points will win and yeah we usually spend like the whole mornings playing that and then after the game we gather again at the house enjoying uh, res yummy and delicious lunches and those were my core memories for my late teenage years which i will forever keep in mind even when we parted ways right now due to our different location in the world i still remember those days playing with them yeah part three are people born competitive i guess yes because like from the very early beginning of humanity people have been struggling and fighting for survival like from dangerous animals and um, natural natural causes and once we move and progress with agriculture and food hunting we have also been striving and you know competing against each other in order to secure more food and more availability in order to feed the whole family and yeah once um, more activities a more wider variety of activities are introduced into human life the nature of competitiveness has also evolved and modified in order to match part three is it good for people to enter a competition i think for the most part it's going to be you know beneficial for people to enter uh, any sort of competition because uh it is a really i am gonna say a precious opportunity for them to kind of hone their skills to you know or to in general in like in a more general term uh they're gonna be able to develop themselves so for example we can look at it in a um in a sport competition people have to work hard they have to put shoulders at the wheel keep their nose to the grindstone in order to uh, pretty, pretty pretty much like up the game a little bit and you know try to be better try to be swifter and, and be more agile and stuff like that 
that's just so they can beat their uh, their opponent uh, in the real match. And well, yeah, that is just an instance of it. This can be seen in any other type of competition, even in like say business, people have to compete against each other. Brands have to compete again against each other in order to bring out the best of the products or even like trying to you know evolve their products a little bit more. So yes, again, competition is definitely a chance for things to develop from its current state and it, are, it is arguably a good thing. Part three, do you think all people care about prizes when taking part in a competition? I think the answer varies according to the people's purpose and the nature of the prize. So for example, if the prize the prizes are not huge in terms of materialistic value, then people sh shall enter it just merely because of, you know, the prestige or, you know, the reputation that competition currently possesses and is, is. but like, yeah, and yeah, some people like they just enter the competitions in order to enrich their experiences to stack themselves against powerful opponents and to see that how far they have gone and what is left for them to improve as well as have a chance to connect with aspiring people within their field so i think yeah but as always having a big prize for one's competition is you know a very big motivation to attract um, more participants as always. Part 3. Why is competition good when doing business? Um, sorry, competition among brands is particularly good in, in business and in industries because, well, I mean, if you, if you look at it from the perspective of the manufacturers themselves, then pretty much they have to compete each, uh, against each other in order to you know, produce a better product, right? Um, better products with better selling points, uh, with better features every single year, and that just... Um, it, it just, it, it's a motivation, it's a sort of motivation for them to just um, complete their products every year. And from the customer standpoint, I think the, I think the benefits are even, you know, more, are even in better plain sight, I must say, because they are going to be the ones that are going to enjoy all of the developments made by the manufacturers. It's so easy to be seen. And this can be this can be illustrated by the the competition between uh, Apple and Samsung. They have like for years on end they have been competing against each other, not just on their products but also on their marketing uh, on their marketing schemes as well as in their um, in their selling techniques and stuff like that. Um, and what do we get? Well, what do we as customers receive? We receive better products every single year. With better, I say, cam like better camera quality, um, better, f better pricing, yeah. and, and more customization. Yeah.